Hello guys, my name is Mohammed Ali and welcome back to Coding Cafe. So till now we have almost complete our this app. About 95% we have completed this app, which is our social networking app, which we are developing using Android Studio with Firebase database. Now in this video tutorial, we will add the email verification in our this social networking app. As you know that uh, till now we have add only the simple uh, email system in which a user can create by which a user can create a new account but we want that only the verified user can use our app and not the unverified users okay so yeah only the verified user will be able then to use our this social networking app which you, which we are developing using Android Studio with Firebase database so as you can see that whenever a user create an account we just get the email password and then confirm the password and then we send the user after when he create click on this create account button then we send the user to the main activity or you can say we allow the user to our I mean to use this social networking app okay so we have to add the security so that whenever a user click on this create account after filling this form then we will send a mail to the user email address and first he has to verify his account and once he verify his account then he will be able to go to the main activity or you can say to use this app so let's do that so go to the Android studio and go to the login activity and first of all come down here and we have to add a verification to check the email that either the email is verified or not on our login activity so come down here and here down below we can create a method and that will be private void and let's name this as verify email address And now we have to get the Firebase user. So for that we can say Firebase user and let's name this as user equals to. So for, to in order to get the uh, current user for that as you know that we need the Firebase auth. And come here above and make sure that you, ha you have uh, declared the Firebase auth here at the top. Okay. We have did this already in the previous video tutorial when we were allow the user to log in I mean through a simple process okay in our app and then here inside the on create method we have cast it like that or you can say we have initialized like that okay mot equal to firebase or dot get instance so now here we can say mot dot get current user and we need a boolean type variable so let's come here above and create a boolean type variable that will check that either the email is true or false that is the email is verified or not so here we can say private boolean and let's name this as uh, email address checker and now come down here and here we can say email address checker equals to user dot is email verified you can see this okay is email verified and then by using the if statement we are going to check if email address checker is true then it means that the user is verified the user has verified his uh, gmail account or you can say the gmail address his account by gmail address then we will send the user to the main activity to use the app and if it is not then in the else statement we can display a toast message to the user and we will tell the user that is please verify your account first and after that we have to uh, sign out the user that is here we can say mauth dot dot sign out and now in the if statement 
Now, why I wrote this M auto sign out? Because here uh, inside allowing user to log in, when we allow the user, you can see this M auto sign in with email and password. So here we are basically allowing the user to sign in. Okay, so here we are sending the user to the main activity by you. Basically, we uh, allow access through this Firebase auth. So that's why we have to uh, sign out the user even if his email address is not verified then first he has to verify it so that's why we just you can say that we destroyed the auth or you can say we sign out the user again if his email address is not verified and then you can see inside the if statement we are sending the user to the main activity when he sign in with email and password so first of all we have an uh, we are not going to send the user to the main activity here remove this and also remove this toast message which is this one okay since we are you know that we in this video we are adding this email verification so first the user has to verify his email so we, here uh, we are going to call this method which is verify email address so we can say verify email address okay so we call that method here so first uh, when you, whenever the user provides his email and uh, password let me show to you which is our this one okay when the user uh, provides his email and password when he click on login then first we are going to call this method which is uh, verify email address so that method will be called and it will check that if the email uh, address is verified then we are going to send the user to the main activity now what is this method which is send user to main activity this is basically the intent okay this is our method and here we just create an intent to send the user from login activity to main activity and this is the uh, basically the the flag that will allow the user to not go back okay that is it will prevent the user to go back again to the login activity once he log in into his account okay so you can see that so that's why we send the user to the main activity here so this is uh, for our login activity now we have to uh, go to the register activity and on our register activity when the user provide his email password confirm password then when he click on this account create account then we will uh, send an e uh, and a message or you can say a verification message to verify his uh, account okay so for that first of all go to the firebase database and here you can see we have this firebase authentication so click on this authentication and then we have these four options and click here on this templates option okay you can see this templates and we have the first option which is email address verification so this is the template now here you can see this edit uh, icon click on this and here you can see we have this project public facing name so what will be your name when you send this email to the user who is going to verify his account so for that you can uh, put your company name or your app name whatever you want i will enter here coding cafe so the user will receive email from me i mean from our app or you can say from our company for uh, by this name which is which we will uh, which you will write here okay so coding cafe and now here you will be the sender name okay so you can write here your name that is coding cafe or whatever you want okay so i will write this name which is coding cafe and then here you can simply provide the email address that is by which email address uh, the user will contact with you if he has any query or anything so you can write here any email address you want i will simply write alizdb at 75 which is my email address and then you can simply click on this save and you can see email template was updated so in this way we have uh, successfully did this and now the next thing is go to the register activity as i told you so this is our register activity now here let's create a method we can say private void and let's name this as send email send email verification message so this method will send the uh, mail to the user who is going to create a new account and then he will uh, update uh, i mean verify his account through his email address so first of all we will get the firebase i mean the current user i mean who is going to create an account so let's name it user 
and now to get the current user you know that we need the firebase auth which is this one okay private firebase auth and inside the onCreate method m auth equals to this thing okay so then here we can say m auth dot get current user now the next thing is to check if the user is not null equals to null and then you can say user dot you can see this you can simply write s e n d and this will appear send email verification okay dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and make sure to put a semicolon here and then inside this on complete method what we can do here we can say if task is successful then it means that the user register and we will tell the user to please uh, verify your account okay so for that we can write here a toast message so we will say toast and here we can just tell the user that he is regist registration successful and verify your account yeah that's it and now if any error occurs then in that case we have to display the error message so we can say else toast message so inside this we can say error and then we are going to get the error that is what is what error basically basically occurs so we can say error equals to task dot get exception dot get message and let's display this message okay so after this we can add this concatenation sign and then this error so yeah that's it and now if we uh, come here then we have this uh, create new account method that is when a user create new account then you can see this create user with email and password then we basically send the user to the setup activity directly which means we allow the user to enter into our app so now as you know that we have add the email verification process so now we will not send the user directly okay first he has i mean first the user has to verify his account so for that uh, we can say send email verification message okay so call this method here okay which is basically over this method and loading bar is basically the progress dialog okay and now the next thing is that is uh, when this toast message appear that is when a user enter the email password and retype his password then this message will be displayed to him and then we will send the user to the uh, login activity from the register activity to the log login activity so for that you can see that we have this uh, send user to setup activity which is basically the activity which send the user from the register activity to the setup activity so now we do not need this uh, okay we are not sending the user to the setup activity instead of that we will send the user to the login activity so change this to login activity and then after this change this uh, setup activity to login activity and change this setup intent to login intent and also copy this and replace with that and now here uh, if the task is successful if when we display this toast message then after that uh, we can simply send the user to the login activity and the next thing is to mauth dot sign out okay and also here if any error occur then we will say mauth dot sign out because uh, here when we say that is create user with email and password then by using the auth we are doing this okay and basically it enters here that is if task dot is is successful so then we send the uh, email verification so we we have to uh, destroy the auth or you can say which is this one mauth dot sign out now let's run the app so you can see that our app is running now and now let's go to the register activity so i will provide my email address by which i want to create a new account into the school revolutionary social networking app which we are developing using android studio with firebase database 
So now let's click on create account. And here you can see this registration successful. Please check and verify your account and it send us to the login activity. Now let's enter the email address here so that we can check either it is going to allow me or not. So you can see that please verify your account first. So we have to verify our account first. So let's go to my Gmail. I mean to your Gmail in your case. So go and here you can see that I receive mail from Coding Cafe. If I click on that, then now you can see that verify your email for Coding Cafe social network app. And you can see this Coding Cafe to me. Hello follow this link to verify your email address so I will click on this link and you can see that your email has been verified you can now sign in with your new account so I will go back to the app and this is my email and password and now let's click on login and you can see that I am now successfully login to our app which is social network app so in this video tutorial we have successfully implemented the email verification for our this social network app which we are developing using android studio with firebase and we have make our this app more secure and we increase the protection level for app so now only verified user will use this app so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel Coding Cafe. Make sure to follow me on my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram account.